All right, guys, welcome back. Um, debating on whether or not to craft. Oh, wait, hold on. It's a new mask. Bronze monkey mask deals additional damage to enemy upon crashing their immobilization. Upon crashing the immobilization on the enemy, massively reduce the cooldown for a immobilized spell. Yeah, let's equip that. Ooh, we got a whole asset. We need two silk, though. Alright, I think we'll focus on trying to get this set. Damn, we need, um... Four pieces of silk, though. We got everything else. Ooh, another boss already. Black Five Wind King. Years. I have rebuilt the temple. Now it's grander in scope. All those monks consumed by the fire. Turn to wandering ghosts roaming in Black Wind Mountain. It was I who granted them eternal repose. I have even restored the charred scriptures piece by piece. <laughs> but oh yes, I always do. One day you Black shall King, return. so he's the bear. I'm guessing his face too he goes bare. Oh, I didn't even rest? Ah, oh, shit. this water yeah i king black king win at least the run back isn't far why so you could walk away get that back Still think you're rock solid. Oh shit. Actually, I don't think he's a bear. Never mind. I thought they called the bear black. Uh, black Wind King. Incorrectly. Oh wait, fire. Oh, this is why we needed that mantle. I have a feeling he has a phase two, so I'm just gonna hold off. Okay, this is gonna be a tough fight. It's a bad phase one. 
So he doesn't have a face too. You have some cheap tricks. Meet me at the summit if you dare. Okay. Never mind, he does. We just have to go meet him at the summit. The spell he just cast may appear intricate, but it's not hard to learn. That Black Bear's expertise is lacking. Serving Guan Yin didn't help him much. But what he left here could surely help us. Consider today your lucky day. <laughs> Bro. Cloud Step, dispersing into Miss Laz for an escape and provides an opportunity to execute Unveiling Strike. Did we have this in the beginning when we fought? I don't remember. No, because I remember the triangle spot being the stone, um, turning the stone. I wouldn't mind having that ability again. I'm sure we'll get it again. Waken wine worm. Age ginseng. Ah, yes, ginseng. Just what I needed. I need silk. I don't remember how we get silk. I forgot if it's something we can farm. There is a spot I want to check. What we got here? Um, Agate Jar Curios. Mile increased defense. Hell yeah. Um. Jade Lotus. Did we get silk from chess? Or was it something we could gather? I don't remember. Might have been chess.
actually real quick. There's a move that we should probably just get. Where the hell is that move? Oh, here we go. Yo! Yo, what is this combo? This dude got me again. Forget it. Shit, this is not gonna end well.
Didn't even see that, but we got a spirit. Wolf Assassin. Sick with Kwong Mo. Yo, they shot? What in the fuck? How? How do we get up there? So... Uh, Marcus Phil were found by Lord Lao from the Toshida Palace that massively increased maximum stamina. Sweet. Missing two kinks.
He once told me, out of sight, out of mind is a fool's task. Seeing but seeing through is what wise men do. But didn't he turn mad by what he saw too? <laughs> Something glowing on top there. Okay, so he was the bear. That's right. Greedy, and I was not paying attention to my own.
feel like we got him lower last time before he even entered this fire form. So you can't finish them in the transformation form. No, you're not. He beat your ass fair and square. Oh, 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 pardon me, young sage. Mercy, young sage, have mercy. <laughs> I was just a pawn of the celestial court. If given a choice, who dared to challenge the mighty wrecker of the celestial palace? His words ring true. No matter how daring he was, he had not the nerve to harm the great sage. There must be someone else pulling all the strings. Exactly. And this thing is eerie. I have no idea how to make use of its power. Except to enshrine it up there, tricking lesser Yaoguais into offerings. If you pardon me, I'll go back to Guanyin to atone for my actions and be put back on the engaging band. You will never see me out there anymore. I oh, ignore his nonsense. Go now, little monkey. Go and retrieve the great sage's relic. this Jenchi 
千万缘，色与空，看之间，轮回路，有万次千，求不得，闭上眼，一生功名。是宝，却方便。修行路，无名尽，凡懂事，莫等闲。一生功名，情如烟。最不忍我在少年，最是烟火情。Master, it still puzzles me. A monk's lust for gold should be quelled. Why does Elder Jinshe still cling to that one Kasaya? Hmm. Bereft of that Kasaya, how shall they show the world their ties are cut and their lust is quelled? Chapter one: Black Cloud, Red Fire concluded. Wow. Across streams, over hills, and through the black wind, your blood has spilled. Wolves howl, snakes wind, flames lick, and the smoke blinds. Stumble on the lesser, lame, crash before their betters, shame. With such clumsiness, what destiny do you claim? As the small fish catches its prey, the bigger lurks behind. Who is the bigger fish? I can't see it. As for the prey and the small fish, <laughs> they are swimming everywhere. Fortune forsakes you, your gold dulls to iron yet. When embraced by luck, even your iron sharpens to gold. This material can be used for crafting weapons. Oh, this is silk. Yarn. Yagwai core. Wow. Okay, that was beautiful. I love that that whole animation sequence of the story. With the Fire Bear Monk or Black Wing Black Wind King.
or not the Blackwing King, but the Elder, the Elder Gold dude that we, that we killed. That was his story. And obviously the bear was the Blackwing King. That was like a cool interpretation of the story and how everything played out. It was his lust for gold that led him to the bear and led to everything being burned. I wonder if we'll get one of those at the end of every chapter. Because that was awesome. But yeah. Um. Oh, we can zoom? Oh, we get anything. A mere human, blessed with a lifespan nearing three centuries. Yet he was never sated. He just had to seize that one Kasaya. Yeah, that was the Centuries elder. Centuries of devotion undone by a moment's greed. In the end, a lost soul became him. How pathetic. A fine guardian for Guan Yin he could have been. Yet he came back here to daydream immortality. Sadly, he had the greed, but lacked the pluck. He could fool his followers, but not himself. His destiny was sealed the moment he donned that band. Who is this, though? Yeah, who is that? And then the snake. He'll stand out in here as well. In his last life, the monk was Jin Chanzu, the second disciple to Buddha in the West. Yet his arrogance led him to disregard the Dharma teachings. And as a result, the Buddha cast him down to the mortal realm. He was destined to face 81 trials throughout his journey. The fire for that Kasaya was merely the 11th. Wait, there were two, um... Was it kings? Two elder kings we missed? So there was like other areas that I completely missed? I don't know. I'll figure it out next chapter. Unless we get like... Are we going to pick up from where we left off? Or are we starting a new area completely? I hope I don't get locked out. Because if that's the case, I'd like to go back and look. But yeah, with that being said, um, I'll see you guys in the next part for chapter 2. Um, yeah. Uh, I look forward to the end of every chapter we get something like this. I hope we do. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.